Hi, I'm Genesis Altamirano, and this is my final presentation on yellow journalism. Newspapers have been a major component in mass media and mass communication. There have been many forms of journalism, such as objective, business, economic, and many others. One of the major forms of journalism was gen yellow journalism. According to the editor of the Britannica website, the definition of yellow journalism is the use of lord features and sensationalized news in publishing to attract readers to increase the circulation. So in other words, it is the use of sex, violence, drugs in newspaper headlines and writing in order to draw the attention of the readers. So although this is the official definition of yellow journalism today, this is not what it always was. As we can see here, uh, the office of the historian says that yellow journalism originated from a popular cartoon strip about the life of the New York slum called Hogan's Alley drawn by Richard F. Outcult. The article goes on to discuss how Joseph Pulitzer, the owner of the New York World, went on to make the comic very well known and later on was referred to the comic was referred to as The Yellow Kid. And this brought much wanted attention to the newspaper, The New York World, raising the sales of their paper. The Office of the Historian continues by discussing how the rise of the sales of Pulitzer's paper caused William Randolph Hearst to go on and hire Outcult for himself as the cartoonist of the New York Journal. This move is said to be what started the feud between both Pulitzer and Hearst. Um, the battle between the two is what caused yellow journalism to eventually change. The Office of the Historian states that uh, once the term had been coined, it extended to a sensationalized style employed by the two publishers in their profit-driven coverage of the world. Meaning that in order to increase sales, they fought each other with flashier headlines and made this the new yellow journalism. Pulitzer and Hearst were major contributors to the creation of yellow journalism. Even though yellow journalism didn't start until the late 19th century, to this day, we still have a form of this style of journalism. Chapter 4.2 of the textbook states that this sensationalized style served as a forerunner of today's tabloid. What it is trying to say is that the modernized version of yellow journalism today is the tabloid. Another example of modernized version of this style of journalism would be clickbait journalism. According to the article, uh, clickbait the changing face of journalism by Ben Frampton the from the BBC News states that in the digital age a new word for a new word has become a synonymous with the online journalism clickbait to put simply it is the headline which tempts the readers to click on a link to the story um, this essentially is what yellow, journal yellow journalism is. It is something that entices the reader to click and want to continue reading. We can see here images from examples of clickbait and tabloids. It is like, it's screenshots of websites such as TMZ and the Celebrity Writer. Um, they're like, their, their headlines are making you want to click on the on the writing so that you can it's enticing you to want to continue reading. Um, in conclusion, I feel like journalism yellow journalism is not healthy for our society because it is in a way giving false information to the public. Some people don't read a full article and base their information solely on the headlines. And if an article is sensationalized then the said person will 
now have a dramatized piece of information or something false. As much as I think that it is unhealthy for society, I think this form of journalism is inevitable in our society. There will always be a new form of sensationalism and we will come up with a modern name for it and try to pass it off as something else, but essentially it will remain the same. So as much as I think that we should not have it, I think it's something that it will probably never go away and it will just keep reproducing itself as something else. Um, this concludes my presentation. Thank you.